Good morning, Masala followers. I am in Leicester today on the eve of Diwali and uh, really one of the fascinating things about this Masala tour of, the, of Britain is that BBC local radio all over the country has loved this story and have picked it up and are broadcasting it as I travel. Today it's 7.15 in the morning. I am at the lovely home of our hosts, Dr. Vivian Golding uh, and David. And really, the, they have sent their BBC radio car to interview me about Diwali. Now, Leicester is the Diwali capital of Europe. I have been here before and I have seen Diwali firsthand and experienced it. It is just unbelievable that only 30 years ago, the first major wave of migrants came to this, 30, 40 years ago, came to this city. Actually, many of them were Ugandan Asians. They came here penniless, and initially there was a fear. Oh no, what will happen to Leicester? They, you know, uh, uh, what will we do with them? And actually, even though they came here penniless, what they brought with them was their culture, they brought their skill, their business acumen, and their discipline of hard work and honesty. And you know, when you have values, yeah, and when you are put into a pressurized situation, the only way you can go is up. And this community went up and up and up. And today, when you will see later when we go to Leicester and travel to different parts of Leicester, you will see how this community has transformed the town, how they have revived and retained their culture. They have created new businesses, new types of trades, new ways of working, and they have created lots and lots of new jobs in this town and really boosted the economy. So I am really excited today that I am getting a chance to talk to the whole of Leicester via the BBC radio station. And remember, you stay tuned to the Masala channel and you will get lots more stories like this. And also tell all your friends and family about it because this is a story which is going to spread and everyone's a winner from this story. This morning is Julie who has woken up early and driven her car to interview me and get a story for BBC Leicester. Julie, as a, as a presenter for BBC Leicester, what is it like living and, and actually communicating good stories via the radio in Leicester? Oh, well, I think it's um, very important, very exciting, yeah. um, because you never know who you're going to meet, and you meet some different people every single day. But it's good that, that it gives a platform for people uh, around Leicester and Leicestershire to uh, put forward their views on certain subjects. And uh, also, I mean, you can find some very, very interesting uh, stories uh, just with ordinary people uh, on the streets of Leicester. I'm, I'm following the India in Britain. What's the India in Leicester like to you? Um, well, I think that we've got a, a great community. I think people are integrating um, easier these days. And, uh, and I, I enjoy it personally because it, 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 uh, it gives you the opportunity of um, sampling culture from uh, different countries. Fantastic. Thank you. I'm with uh, Dr. Atul Shah, who's stopped off here in Leicester on his Masala tour, uh, which he says is all about showcasing India in Britain. And he's visiting artists, businesses, community centres and leaders up and down the land. Good morning to you. Good morning, Judy. So, uh, what are you hoping to achieve by travelling to Leicester and around the country? Well, I mean, Leicester is the first city in Britain to be majority ethnic and I work full-time in the cultural diversity arena. I run an organization called Diverse Ethics and the aim is to educate and make people aware about the beauty, beauty of different cultures and how learning from different cultures can enrich our own life here and now. And Leicester is a fantastic showcase of culture, you know, and I'm so excited to be here on the eve of Diwali. And Leicester is the Diwali capital of Europe. And, and so tomorrow I'll be participating in the celebrations. Uh, I'm a Jain by culture, so in the evening from 8 to 10 I'll be at the Jain temple where they are actually doing Diwali in exactly the authentic Jain way they do it in Pawapuri in India. 
and, and, and it's fascinating and I've never actually experienced this before so I'm looking forward to that. You're, you're a social entrepreneur, what does that actually mean? A social entrepreneur is somebody who uses the creative skills of business and enterprise but the purpose is to improve society, to transform society, to improve the quality of life of people here and now. And I'm driven by that and that's what has brought me on this Masala tour. Because I feel that the India in Britain is very complex, is very creative, very diverse, but actually it's misunderstood. It's also not easily visible. People are happy to take, take a takeaway curry, but they actually don't want to meet the chefs. You know, They don't want to engage with the waiters. They don't want to understand the culture which has made the masala curry for them. But actually this culture is, is a very rich culture, it's a very old culture. And you know, along, already there are about 15 different uh, YouTube films on the website which people can watch about the different people I have met. And there will be many more along the way. By the end of 30 days I'll have a hundred different videos on my website, on the Masala Tour website. All you have to do is just Google Masala Tour and you'll get there. And this will showcase the great richness of this culture, the diversity of this culture. And guess what? This culture is not just for the Indians. You can borrow it just as you like the curry. You can take bits of this culture and bring them into your own life and enrich your life. Have fun, uh, dance, listen to the music and actually enjoy. Well, you're, you're obviously going to be enjoying it yourself and being an entrepreneur. Are you going to be making money from the tour? Absolutely not. Uh, I, there is, I have a, got zero sponsorship for this tour, but I still did not wait for it. I wanted to do it. I'm a British citizen. I've been here for 30 years. I want to improve the, the future for the next generation. I've got two young children. I've got Maya Shah, who is a, a, a recent graduate of Warwick here, helping me as a volunteer. And I want their future to improve. I want people to understand what culture they bring when they come to their organizations to work. But at the same time, you know, I'm staying at the home of Dr. Viv Golding, a lecturer at the University of Leicester. She is not Indian. She is English. But she loves culture, she promotes the different cultures and she loves Indian culture and she has given me her warmth, her hospitality and a lovely welcome here to Leicester and this is the bridge, these are the bridges I want to build, these are the people I want to celebrate and they don't need to be rich, they don't need to be famous but they are the ones who are making a difference to everyday Britain, everyday Leicester and that is great. A very passionate man, Dr. Atul Shah. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Uh, you're welcome. Thank you.